guys welcome back to another video with me my name is Lichelle and you're watching $10 girl so today's video is all about these glorious person nails are you a fan of person nails I am and you should be so if you're interested to learn how to make these person nails at home this video is definite for you so keep on watching So these are the stuff you need um it's quite affordable i think some of these stuff i had i had like skewers at home but i'm going to show you what you're going to eat so i went down the road and i had gotten some nails these aren't the official um press on nails but if you have these they will certainly do um you're gonna need nail glue so we have the nail glue here you're gonna need buffer the buffers going to need nail clip a scissors of course you need nail polish of your choice um, I also have this for top coat and you're gonna need this for oil as well I have these glue dots and if you have been watching you definitely see you have seen these in my candle video um, I'll link that above if you want to see how to make a candle at home so I use these as well so you're gonna need skewers and this is how a skewer actually look it's like a pop we well not not popsicle sticks but um, skewers yeah <laughs> so these are the, the skewers this is the only one I have leave and this is the end result of how I want them how I'm gonna show you to put them so basically cut this in half and you can get about two, two out, two out of this right now. So these are the things that you're gonna need. Definitely, also you're gonna need some alcohol. I have some in this bottle, um, or you can use wipes. But we're gonna use alcohol and tissue. All right. So these are the stuff that we'll be using. All right. So these are the nails that I've done these are some red sets and some white sets I went ahead and do um, the full sets I think I want to do these I kind of have a little bit of fire and personality so I'm gonna put these on today but before I put them on I'm gonna show you a demo of how I actually do this with these type of nails and it's trust me it's easy it's not um, expensive I think these cost $500 and the buffers that I have was like about what 300 200 so it's like a thousand dollars each so it's quite affordable and I just believe if you want to have that um that cute set of nails without breaking the bank this video is for you so I want to jump right in I'm gonna push down the nails so that they're out of the way all right all right so first off to begin these are the nails it's a hundred nails in this set and there we have it of course you have some of the the spots looking empty but that's because I've been using so what I do first and foremost let me remove this first and foremost what I do is I will go in and I will test to see I will test to see which um, nail is good. I like this. I mean, of course, it have that that curve curvature look, but we can make it work. All right. So what I do is let me put this aside, and I'm gonna show you how I obtain this style here on this type of nail. So what I do is I go in and I say, okay, this nail can fit me. It covers hair and it also covers hair so then I decide where I want to have the marker we're going to if you have a nail clip you can definitely use this I know some persons have that fancy I'm gonna put a picture of a fancy um, nail clip I don't remember what the name is but this is what I use so I mark where I want we're gonna put it right there Now 
so this is where we have it as well so that's that's the the nail right there so we're gonna we're gonna create the oval so what we're going to do is I use the scissors to create to get to get that um, oval look quicker so clipping off the sides and to be honest I don't think we should be breaking the bank and then I'm going to file it down breaking the bank to create these wonderful nails I mean we have time at home we're quarantined and I think we, it's a good way to learn something new all right so we're gonna file it down I tend to go for this one it's a bit more sturdier so I tend to file if you can see here file it down just to curve so I'm curving it right so I'm curving the nail and you see it's taking shape taking shape realize it this is more curvy than this so what we're doing is we're still going around the edges of the nail just to give it that curve curve look I, sometimes I flick it upwards to get the the things at the back here off there and then I ten, take my time to curve the tip as well and it's all about trial and error I mean you have a hundred nails in this and just take my time I continue doing the up movement so as to get it curved we also realize that right here is a bit square and flat and we want it to, to bend into the nail so sometimes I go around just to kind of take off a little bit and also to give that curvature look so one day I was at home and I was like oh my god I need to do my nails at Amazon taking a little while to reach Jamaica and I was like oh wait I mean I can get some of these nails here in Jamaica I mean the right truthful person nails you can get them here in Jamaica but I think you have to go I didn't have time to, to search downtown so I just got these down the road from my house so yeah So each time I check, I was like, ooh, all right. Hair needs to, to come in a little bit. So what I do is go in with a more delicate buffer. Ooh, it's raining outside. And this is just to basically soft up the edges. Keep it nice and round and smooth. So there we have the nail like that, it's like an oval shape. And then, oh, we we'll have some at the back here. See right here, looking a bit curvy. So we're gonna straighten that part. So right now, right now we're gonna clean off. I'm using tissue, that's what I have. If you have paper towel, fine. So I'm gonna wet this paper towel, this tissue, with some alcohol and then I'm gonna wipe down the nail. So why we're doing this is to basically take off the excess dust particles so that when we're ready to polish, it be very easy and clean. Make sure you get your hands as well. Nice, 
there we have it so I'm gonna show you why it's important to use like a skewer I mean I use that some persons probably use a the the finger um the thing that you place the nails on like this I don't have that and I know most of you guys don't have that as well so I'm gonna show you how to use a skewer stick to obtain that what I'm using and what have been good for me is glue dots so I just simply take some glue dots like that here is it and then we're just creating like creating a raised a raised look hope you can see it so it's like tacky and sticky and then what I'm going to do is put my nail on top of that so you don't want your nail to be too much on the skewer sorry you don't want your nail to be too much on the skewer but you want it just enough lifted off so that it's not sticking on it so if you can see and then that's how we have that right there so what I'm gonna do is go in with some of this nail polish a quick dry and I'm just gonna generously um, polish this nail right now like that I will let that sit and I mean when you put it down it's easy to to manage it's not gonna roll away so this is also good for that so I don't know, I thought I was just at home figuring, as I said before, I needed some um, nails to be done and I thought this would be a cool way to do that. Alright, so the quick dry coat is dry. We have these two, so this is the white that I use for these nails and then this is the pink, it's called the Sophie Red on this. So I'm going to just generously apply some of the sofa red so that it's easier for you to see on this quite quick and easy and I had gone in with like two coats so um, I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then we go over and what we do is basically finish finish off with a top coat but let us just jump in with the application purposes of our press-ons. Let me so clean up my nails first and then jump in. So of course we know we're gonna snip down our nails. Now I'm going to just buff. I got them really low. I, I like when my nails are low underneath the press on nails. I think it looks more cleaner and finished. So I'm just going to go in with the buffer, the smoother section, and then just buff, get the nails all clean and buff away any, um, I guess just to get it all tacky and stuff so that it's better to apply the nails. I'm gonna go in with some paper, some tissue, paper towel tissue slash alcohol, and then I'm just gonna wipe off all of that. Wipe off the excess. So there we have it. The nails are clean and ready for prepping. So these are the nails got a little bit of dust on it but that's fine so these are the nails and I just think they're so beautiful and what I did also I had put some numbers underneath so that I remember which one goes where um, it's your your own so you can do as you want so what I'm gonna do is this is the nail glue that I got as well alright so what I'm gonna do is start by my little finger and then go around so 
I put the numbers underneath it, but I also have them in order. So I want to start with little finger and then go this way for this hand and then little finger to the thumb for this hand. All right, let's move. So just generously add some glue in the middle. Get the little one here. And I just simply hold. Alright, so these are the finished look guys. Yeah, they're really nice. Really, really nice. Um, trust me, these look like I bought them outside or something. And ooh, I really enjoyed this video. So guys, if this video was very helpful for you, if this taught you something, taught you a new skill, please go on down below and like my video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this with anybody who wants to learn. And just thank you for joining the $10 Girl family. So thank you for watching. Oh, and makeup is on my Instagram page, so go on over.